so it has finished execution now if I look at my demo DB so there is a table created called SSIS deployment and if I select the top thousand rows I could see the data has been transferred from the excel file to the database also there are a number of other options available for example you could uh, set the security level for example let me just go to the package and if you explore the properties there's a section called a security so here you could actually say I need to uh, say encrypt all with password and I'll need to supply a password so I'll just type in a password here click on OK and I'll build this package if I go to my deployment folder and click on manifest sorry I'll click on uh, package.dtsx and if I try to change any of these options it's going to prompt me for a password so I need to supply in the same password that I entered while configuring the properties in the package so I click on OK only then I could change the properties of this particular package so once you have these packages built and deployed you, there are a number of ways in which you could actually kick off these packages one commonly used method would be to create an SQL job so if you navigate to SQL server agent you'll find a folder called as jobs if you right click on it it'll uh, give you a number of options so I'm going to choose new job over here and we'll give this job a name called as SSIS deployment and I need to add a step over here so I'll call this as complete deployment and in the type I could actually configure it to use SQL Server integration services package so here are a number of tabs that I need to configure so my package source is uh, SQL Server can be a file system but now let me keep it as SQL Server since I have deployed it in the database also to supply in the package and um, I need to select the data sources and then I could also configure logging provider if I need and I could do some other verification settings over here so for now this is fine I'll click on OK if I click on schedules I could create a new schedule so here I could actually say SSIS deployment schedule and I could set the scheduling type set the frequency of this and I could actually configure it to run on every Thursday, every Friday also I could set the frequency as in when should it occur and what is the duration and so on and so forth also other options would be to configure alerts you could actually configure a SQL server event alert, a condition alert and so on and so forth So there are a number of ways in which you can configure notifications, it can be via email, via page, via net send. So accordingly you will have to configure your SMTP server and so on and so forth. So these are the basic steps in which you need to create a job. So once you create a job it will appear over here and the schedule which you have set, the, this job is going to fire and actually start executing a package. So these are some of the very simple techniques that are provided by SSIS in order to deploy a package apply some security policies of course you could apply a security for policies right from management studio also but 
bids also provide some facilities in which you could add some password policies and so on and so forth.